guys how are you all welcome to my channel the mindful connection and welcome to our 30 days healthy mind challenge journey day 17 guys uh in our day 17 we are going to discuss about emotional abuse so let's get started emotional abuse is a form of psychological abuse that involves manipulating belittling or intimidating someone to gain power and control over them it may happen in various relationships uh, that includes romantic partnership, family dynamics, friendship or in workplace. Guys, everything has a phase, so is emotional abuse. So let's discuss about uh, the phases of emotional abuse. Uh, well guys, the phases uh, of emotional abuse can include um, tension building phase. In this tension building phase, uh, the abuser may become very critical, irritable or controlling, leading to the victim feeling on ease or walking on eggshell. The next phase is explosion or acute incident. In this phase, uh, or this phase involves a significant outburst of emotional abuse that may include yelling, name calling blaming threats or other forms of verbal or non-verbal aggression which may lead the victim feel shocked frightened or deeply hurt during this phase uh, guys the next phase is called reconciliation or honeymoon phase yes you heard it right guys in this phase based on the previous incident the abuser may apologize so remorse attempt to reconcile with the victim they might also promise to change their behavior they might shower the uh, victim with affection or minimize the severity of the abuse uh, and this phase may create a confusion for the victim and the victim may hope for positive change but there are also fear for, for, for the abuse well, guys, the next phase is called calm or tranquility stage and in this stage things may temporarily appear uh, maybe peaceful uh, in the relationship the tension may subside and the abuser may revert to more subtle forms of manipulation or control however guys this calmness is often short-lived so guys over time it become really confusing and hard to and hard to understand what is going through which is why one needs to be very attentive and learn the way how to not fall into a victim so let's learn how to manage this situation so guys to manage this situation one need to need to recognize the abuse the victim must acknowledge that they are experiencing emotional abuse which can be challenging due to manipulation and gaslighting by the abuser so guys be a be alert and educate yourself about the signs and effects of the emotional abuse secondly we can seek support yes guys i i always used to tell you people that help is available everywhere you just have to find and reach there so it is essential for all of us or for a victim to reach out to a trusted person it may be a friend family members teacher or professional or support or for any support that is available they can also reach out to a therapist counselor support group whoever you trust guys go and take their help the, so guys the next is to set a clear bar boundary guys establishing a clear boundaries with the abuser is very crucial for protecting your or someone's emotional well-being this may involve limiting contact refusing to change uh, engage in abusive conversation or seeking legal protection when and as needed then it is really really important to explore safety option 
In case of severe or ongoing abuse, it may be necessary for the victim to explore safety options such as finding a, a safe place to stay or finding a, a domestic violence center where he, can, he or she can go and seek support. Um, also, you can also seek assistance from law enforcement. So, so guys go and find whatever is reachable to you and if you try to find it you will definitely find it and in the end i would say that managing emotional abuse requires a lot of courage support and a commitment to prioritizing one's own well-being breaking free from this cycle of abuse is possible with the right resource and determination so be alert be safe guys this is the end of my video for today i hope you understood what emotional abuse is and how we can manage it guys i will again say that whenever needed you go and seek support seek support is always available you just have to find it go find it be alert be safe have a good rest of the day